In this first exercise, we're going to focus on a G chord. So most of the exercises, we're going to play around a G chord. So I'm going to show you a pattern, and then I'm going to show you how to apply that pattern. So the first thing when finger picking is we want to just get our fingers used to doing this pattern of getting the thumb, the first finger, second finger, that P-I-M-A, getting that working and getting the fingers used to playing strings as opposed to holding a pick. So if you want, just get a G chord on your fretting hand and we're gonna place the thumb on the D string and then the first finger or the I is gonna be on the G string, the middle finger will be on the B string and the ring finger is gonna be on the bottom E. So it's gonna be D, G, E, and then E. D, G, E, E. And all I want you to do is just practice that pattern over and over again. P, I, M, A. P, I, M, A. And that's all I want you to do. Now the thing that sometimes happens with people when they're doing this is they sometimes really attack the thumb hard or they don't play they don't play loud enough. So I usually have to tell my students, like, play a little louder. Don't be afraid to, you can dig into these strings. Don't be afraid to dig into them. You can make some noise with them. Usually people play very soft in the beginning and their thumb plays really loud. The other thing to watch out for is not to rush or swing um, the pattern. So sometimes a lot of people, when they first start learning finger picking, especially this first pattern, is they go, they do something where they, they put a pause between the thumb and the first finger. One, two, three, four, one, two. We want to keep a steady beat. All right, so it's going to be thumb, thumb, P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A, strings, four, three, two, one, four, three, that is our basic pattern that I want you to focus on. This is going to help you start building the comfort in this finger picking hand. So let's try it again. So one more time. One, two, three, four. P, I, M, A. P, I, M, A. P, I, M, A. P, I, M, A. So that's the first exercise I want you to practice. After that, we're just going to do the same thing in reverse. So we're going to start at the A finger, and it's going to go A, M, I, P. So we're starting at the lowest string. So A, M, I, P, A, M, I, P. So people usually have an easier time going down the guitar than coming up the guitar. Some of my students have an easier time coming back up the strings than they do down the strings. That's why I want you to practice them both separately. So on the PDF, you're gonna see four measures of the first pattern and four measures of the second pattern. You can play those as many times as you want. I just put four on the sheet as an example, but you can play it as many times as you need to to get comfortable. So if we go back to the first pattern again, it's going to be from the D string to the E string. So it's going to be P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A. Now from the lowest string, the high E string backwards, I, or sorry, A, M, I, P, A, M, I, P, So what we're gonna do in the next part of this video is we're gonna put those together over a short chord progression and I'm gonna show you how you can play down the strings and up the strings in the next pattern, uh, which we're gonna do in what we call six, eight times. So right now we're playing in four, four. And if you remember, four, four is one, two, three, four. There's four beats. 
per measure. So in the next example that I'm going to show you, we're going to put the patterns together and we're going to play in six, eight times. So we're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go to that next video and I can show you that example.